Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Let's take a look at some of the backpack styles I use and why I use them. I have some backpacking trips coming up this year, so I'm kind of shifting my focus a little more towards pedestrian travel as opposed to either canoeing or just going in for a short hike but a longer term bushcraft style camp. If this is the kind of thing you like, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box, and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. So for a general bushcrafting or survival style backpack, I really love the wax canvas. This is the biggest one I've got. This is the Duluth Bushcrafter. I use a Campcraft Rucksack if this one's too large, and then I've got some day packs as well. I do have some food, but I'm not really set up to just walk away right now and start camping for a week. So this is a pretty good base of what I have with me most of the time. And this bag weighs in at 33 pounds. Now I have a wool blanket in here. I have a oil skin tarp. I've got an ax. I've got a saw. I've got a haversack with a full survival kit in it. With this thing, I'm, I'm pretty good to go. I can manufacture a lot of things in the woods. I don't have any specialty kits, so I don't have a trapping kit or a fishing kit or anything like that, but I have room to add it. I've taken this bag on canoe trips with me, and you have to use a pack liner. Even though it's waterproof from the rain, or I can throw this out in the middle of a pond, eventually it's gonna soak through. So you're really dependent on that liner. But if you look at the height of this bag compared to the bag right beside it, this is kind of where I'm going for for a backpacking trip. If you look at the height of this bushcrafter compared to an internal frame bag like this Big Agnes, they're a lot shorter. The canvas bags are shorter and squattier. And that's because this is assuming that you're gonna have canoe on your shoulder for portaging at least some of the time. So everything has to be below shoulder level. With an internal frame like this, I can get the whole load up higher and it's much more comfortable. So in addition to that, the bag weighs a lot. This is maybe five or six pounds of canvas right here. I don't remember exactly, but empty, this bag probably weighs double of what that Big Agnes does. So that's just adding to my pack weight. I give up pack weight and I accept durability. That's the main advantage to using a wax canvas bag. Did somebody say durability? This is it for durability. This is my 50 liter canoe barrel. So I have a level six harness on here. And without the harness, you can forget about it. You can move it around camp and you can roll it. Even if you're not portaging, you still are going to need a harness of some type. Now, this is comfortable on a short term. You do not want to be carrying this thing in lieu of an actual backpack. It works great for what it does. You can load this thing up with gear. It fits inside the canoe perfect. It sits low enough where you're not going to really be wind blown from side to side. This thing can get drug around on the rocks. You're not going to damage it. This is not bear proof. A bears will eat this thing alive, but it keeps the scent down. So you're that much less likely to be drawing in animals, especially smaller animals in my area like raccoons. It's a lot less of concern if I've got a bear like this. So this is a 50 liter I got off Craigslist. 60 liters are what most people use. I also have a 30 liter, which is significantly smaller. So if I'm only going on a weekend trip or if this thing's loaded with gear and I want to use that as a food barrel for multiple people, that's going to work out great. So for canoeing, I will never go back to anything else. This is absolutely perfect, but this is not for what I'm going to be using it for now. This is not comfortable to carry with that much of a huge opening. You're just more likely to put in one more thing and one more thing. And our base weight with this thing is going to be astronomical. So I do really love the barrels. The barrels are the way to go if you're canoeing. This doesn't work on a kayak. This doesn't work if I'm backpacking. But for car camping or for canoe camping, I am all about these big barrels. This Big Agnes Prospector is a perfect example of an internal frame backpack. You see this is skinnier, but it's also taller. So one thing is for certain is I'm not going to be having a canoe on my shoulders when I got this bag on. I'm going to appreciate the fact that it's a lot more slender than the Duluth or the big canoe barrel. Just when you're going through tight trails, when it starts to get brushy in the springtime. So I don't really have this loaded up quite right yet, but it's almost there and I'm already overweight. My goal for this bag is going to be under 15 pounds. So lightweight backpacking is defined as 15 pounds and under. And if you want to get into ultralight backpacking, which is going to be my end goal, that's going to be a 10 pound base weight and under. Now your base weight is going to be no water, no food. 
I will be able to get down to under 15 pounds. And I'm going to do that still keeping my core principles the same. I will have a survival kit with me. I will be able to cover all of my 10 C's of survivability. I'm just going to do it in a different manner. I'm going to do it in a much more lightweight manner, but it's all going to be in that bag and with me when I need it. So what's in this bag is not 100% what I carried with me for years and years, but it's pretty darn close. Some things I've upgraded, and when I upgraded, I went with my newer item as opposed to the old standby. But it's essentially the same bag that I carried for years. Everything's in about the same location. I'm going to go over this bag just to give you my base and what is normal for me and what is expected of a bushcraft pack. This is about 33 pounds, and again, I've got plenty of gear in here to do any bushcraft task, any long-term wilderness living task. This is the bag for that for sure, but this is not what we want to take on a week-long backpacking trip. Mm -hmm. 